Terminating SWA into a cutout is not rocket science, but it requires time and care if you're to make the job look neat. And all good electricians know, if something looks bad, it probably is bad. The tools and equipment required for this task are actually quite minimal. We have here a piece of SWA, one central earth terminal, otherwise known as a CET, one cutout, a set of side cutters, a nut runner, often referred to as a nut spinner, one flat headed screwdriver, one posi drive screwdriver, a junior hacksaw and a coring knife. The first thing I'm going to do is make the SWA off into the central earth terminal. I need to be mindful of how much conductor I need to connect into the cutout afterwards. Here you'll see we have a separated neutral earth cutout. My terminations will be here. I'm going to leave this much in slack so I can form the cables nicely. Get my CET and I'm just going to make a little mark at the bottom of the CET for starters. Just there. The idea is the armors will eventually pass through this hole here and fold back on themselves down to here. In which case, I'm now going to go one, two times this length back and here is where I will strip the PVC and here is where I'll make my cut for the armors. I'm now going to score into the steel wired armors. Time and care must be taken. Time must be taken to make sure that every single strand of steel wire has been scored, but care must be taken to ensure you do not cut into the bedding below the steel wire armors. I'm using a junior hacksaw for this. So from that point, I will strip the PVC and start removing the steel wires. And you can see there how they're all scored, but I haven't actually cut completely into one. There's only one way to do this next process. And as tempting as it is to grab a big bunch of these, it just will not work out. So I'm gonna remove them one by one. So if we just have a look at how this is going to form now, remember what we're doing here. Those steel wires are going to fold over here. So I'm going to remove the PVC sheath to my marking that I did earlier. Being careful not to score the bed in. And there we go. So, just as we did with removing the strands, we need to be careful with these as we fold them over. And I'm doing them at bunches of maybe three to four at a time. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a nice even amount of steel wires now formed around the CET. There's no way this cable is going to get ripped out of that. So let's get a Jubilee clip on there. Get things fastened down. Before I mount the CET to the backboard, I'm going to strip the bed in here. I want at least 10 mil of bedding inside the cutout. So I'm gonna make a mark there at the bottom of the cutout, get a tape measure and measure off 10 mil, which is there. I'll 
then proceed to remove the bedding. And this really is where some care must be taken. What I don't want to do now is score the conductors which sit directly underneath this bedding. If that happens, I have to start the whole job from scratch. So I'm not actually cutting into this, I'm just really gently ringing around and I'm moving that cable as I go. Okay, and then I'm carefully bending and I'll do the same again. I'm just very gently scoring around it and I'll do the same again, bend it back. Now I can see some conductors coming through. And there we go. I'm now going to check that I haven't scored any of the conductors. So my neutral is good, my CPC is good, and my line conductor is good. I can now mount this to the backboard. With everything now mounted to the backboard, I've put the grommet in place, we're ready to now terminate the conductors.